Oh, I need to hang on. Wait. Okay, hello. Um, I need to uh, rearrange myself. Hang on one second. Oh, yeah, thank you for the host, Oscar. Someone is at my front door. Goodness gracious. Thank you for the welcome back. Dun, 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 dun. 
Thank you. I'm trying to. Respond to this. Um, I have some Fritos and I have a chocolate bar. played since March 27th that's not true that can't be true has it been over two weeks since I played Francie Drew Some new things. Hi, Brit. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm just shoving this down my face. Favorite delivery girl. How'd you like acting on the show yesterday? It was okay. Acting is definitely not the career for me, though. Are you sure? I heard you caused quite a stir finding a hidden check on the set. How did you know there would be a check inside the locket? Um. I. Hey there, I'm here too. Oh, it's the girl who spilled coffee all over me yesterday. I told you that was an accident. I'm sorry. Tell that to my dry cleaning bill. I expect you to pay for it. Yes, sir. Or Katie, I should try changing the topic. I may ha I may cut some of those prices down because I don't really know how quickly people. That might be too much. I may cut everything in half. Okay, hang on, live editing. Hang on, live editing, I'm sorry. I'm cutting everything in half. Seventeen five hundred. 
I'm sorry. I'm fixing everything. Oh, 12.50, yeah, that's right. Math. Math, though. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks so much for the host, Jake. All right, now let's see. That looks better. Yeah. Thank you for shouting out, Jake. Okay. How are you today, Wayne? Horrible. The producer rejected my application for head scriptwriter again. They stick it with the new lead, even though she's completely incompetent. What makes her a bad scriptwriter? For starters, she's breaking up Lukey and Lauren. The show's super couple. You don't do that. They're a legacy. Whatever, they've broken up like four times since I started watching. They always get back together. Not this time. Lauren is being kicked off the show. What? Oh yeah, welcome back, Reed. I know, she's been fired. Her last day of filming is two weeks from today. And she's not the only one. A third of the cast has been let go. No way, they can't just fire everyone like that. They can and they have. The new writer wants to shake things up big time. It's ridiculous. You can't have ten characters leave the show all at once. Yes, tickets should be. Oh no, because tickets... Yeah, what do you think this is? The bold, young, and the beautiful restless? Anyway, the huge turnover is causing a lot of new work for me. Why is that? As the casting agent, I have to find replacements for all the old actors. And it's eating up all of my free time. Is that why I got hired for a role without doing an audition first? Exactly. Actually, now that I think about it... You, coffee girl! Me? Thanks for your mess up yesterday. The new casting calls got messed up. Fix them for me, now! Yeah. Yes, sir. Francie, do you think you could... No problem, Katie. I'll help you. Okay. Very small role. All I have to do is yell at some teenagers no experience yesterday. guy has to give emotional performances, so we're going to give this guy to this guy. 
Bye, Summer. Thank you for, so much for being here. Thank you so much for for uh, popping in. Wow, CJ. What are your two options, Reed? Roll of wearing fake pregnancy belly. Actors must be comfortable with it. Yours is, must speak Spanish and English, so we'll give the telenovas. Done! Um, Katie, I think you made a mistake. There should be a different actor for the elderly man role. And the seasoned starship captain role. Okay, I guess I'll try again. What? Oh. Oh. No experience necessary. This guy's the first time applying. Okay. I got these mixed up. Need to keep out weather. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly like windy here today. Done, all the actors have been assigned to their roles. Good, leave them on my desk so I can call them later. Wait a second, what's this? Turmoil with the mobsters as P gets greedy and tries to take all the money. Leader L launches a two point plan to deal with the situation. B threatens to make P disappear forever. Okay, hang on. Turmoil with the mobsters as Pavel gets greedy and tries to make take all the money. Leader Lachlan launches a two-point plan to deal with the situation. Brandon threatens to make Pavel appear, disappear forever. D, we don't have a D. Hides the money and lock it for safekeeping. New twist. Money found by outsider FD. How did she know it was there? Somehow FD has connection to Leader Lachlan. Let's figure out what. This paper was underneath the others. I think that the convenience of being next to the university read might be nice, um, but it'll really just depend on um, how y who your roommates are. Ah, that! That's the script I've been working on. Quick, give it to me! Are you sure that's a script? It looks more like a summary of what happened on set yesterday. Yes, well, um... I've been inspired by the way you found the check. I thought it would work into the show. It would go great with the mobster storyline, let me assure you. Hmm. Speaking of the mobsters, are they going to keep Sonny Demera on the show? There are rumors he'll be replaced by Stefano Corinthos. No! Anyway, I'm a very busy man. It was nice talking to you, but you should go. Goodbye! exit yeah once I found that paper he couldn't get out of here fast enough well some people are protective about their writing I guess so who should we investigate next Cynthia Matterhorn thinking let's go hello Cynthia well if it isn't miss um what is your name again Dr 
Drew with an O. <laughs> right, you're the girl who was looking for the locket yesterday. Did you find it? Sort of. I was wondering if you ever figured out who picked it up originally. <clears throat> I feel like the game's kind of loud. How's that? <laughs> nope, whoever filled out the form did it wrong. Probably on purpose. But it's good you're here, Coffee Girl. I need some help sorting props. Um, my name isn't Coffee Girl, it's Katie. Now, Coffee Girl. Yes, ma'am. Good lord. You see the boxes, right? I'll put the stuff on the left, put each item into the correct box. What is this? Is this a cake? A wedding cake? Food. Diamond. I don't know what this is. Utensil. Where did we get that painting? Well, this game is Francie, Drew, and Friends. A staircase with bras. Appliances, tools. This music, though. Look at this art. Two love lockets? Yes, I have backups for most of the major props on the show. <clears throat> this drawing is so bad they had to label it. Tools and utensils are ostensibly the same thing, maybe. Is there a problem with that? Considering what happened on set yesterday, maybe. I'm not responsible for what happens on set. I only take care of this room. Then let me ask you this. What stops someone from switching the two love locket props? Nothing, I guess, only there wouldn't be any prop point to it. The two props look the same after all. Hmm. Okay then, coffee girl, we've got more props for you to sort. Sorry, Francie and I have to go somewhere else now. Um, I think you're just trying to get out of work. Honest, we have a meeting with the director. Fine, just meet me here when you're done. I've got ten more boxes to sort. Phew, that was a close one. Okay, we've talked to Dick, Wayne, and Cynthia. That's everyone. Do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. Yes, I know the solution to the mystery. Shoot. You do? Great, tell me. Dang it. I think I have the correct solution. But I should probably save my game here just in case. Shoot. All right, see you back in a bit. I think it was Wayne. Does that not look like he's sticking his tongue out? This Francie girl looks a lot like you. The resemblance is uncanny. Thank you. I'm gonna go with Wayne. Actually, you guys vote. You guys vote. 
Let me see if I can open a, hang on. Let's do a poll. Voting on culprit. Got a two minute, two minute timer. Do exclamation point vote and then the number in front of the name of the person you think it is. You have to do exclamation point vote and then the number. Can I vote as Francie? Super Pinaldo, how are you? It's good to see you again. One minute 15 left. I really like this music though. <laughs> birthday um, it's my uh, two-year stream anniversary but I appreciate it Two years old now. <laughs> I'm not. plan right now it was you I remember when you were just a little baby in deer oh Wayne are you here yes I'm here what is it I was wondering if you were going to fight or be quiet when we arrest you for being the culprit culprit what are you talking about Looks like a tool, not an option. Sort him into that. Quit pretending, Ray Wayne. We saw your entire scheme written down. Did you really expect me to believe it was just a script? Yes, because it was. But you got turned down for the head screenwriter job. You said so yourself. I've been working on soap operas for over 20 years, Miss Drew. Wow, you still look like a child, though. And the one thing I can always predict is dramatic plot twists. <laughs> Meet the real Wayne Dow Dowers. Super villain, super criminal, and super handsome. <laughs> and now that you've discovered my secret identity, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get away with this, Wayne! Cubby girl, you're here too? Good, get me a cup, I could use some energy for this next scene. But I... Get some for me too, coffee girl, or make it a- make it a cappuccino. You want a cup? Oh, right, I'll get it right away! 
still the time. Dad. <laughs> Brit. <laughs> First, I'd have to get that costume. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, your death scene. Let's make it appropriately dramatic. You, the young sleuth, furiously confronting the veteran actor. Action! I think soap operas have completely warped this guy's mind. You, uh, you won't get away with this. Louder! Put more emotion into it! You won't get away with this, Wayne! And why not? I've been getting away with my crimes for years. I'm the casting director. Whenever anyone gets too close to my secrets, I fire them! You monster! I am a monster? No, it's life that's the true monster here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should be glad that your life is going to end now. Any last words before I kill you? Mm, what's gonna keep me alive longer? I think playing. Oh, you call that a dramatic villain re reveal? Yes, what's wrong with my performance? Everything, where's the pizzazz? Where's the intensity? I don't want to see you, Serena. You're right. This dialogue is too weak in this scene. I need to punch it up a bit. Perhaps I could do a monologue on the cruelty of life, like Hamlet, but better. Exactly. You need to rewrite the entire thing. Why don't you sit down over there and start writing while I... Aha! You're trying to escape from me. Yes, that's what the scene needs. A bold escape from our teenage hero. But the escape is cut short, just like her life. <laughs> this guy's a few scenes short of a full script. Thank you, Jake. I hope you make it. Sure. Oh no. What if we have another reveal? Like one of your conspirators turned on you. Too late. That happened a few days ago. Why do you think I had to hide Lisa's check in the locket? Why didn't you send the check in the mail or give it to her directly? Not dramatic enough. It needed to be the love in the love locket where anyone could get it. And you got it, didn't you, clever little girl? Not clever enough, sadly. Oh, but I am. Thanks to me, Lisa was arrested. What? No, you can't have stopped her. It's true, you're the only person in the gang who isn't in jail yet. Everyone besides me was arrested? Yes, and now we have all the evidence we need to put you away for good. Now put down the gun and come quietly. No! No, I refuse to believe that you've captured captured Catherine! Catherine? You don't know Lisa's real name? Ha! I knew it was just a bluff. Maybe. My bluff was a bluff. What? I was just pretending not to know Lisa's real name. I needed you to say it out loud. Because I've been wearing a wire this whole time, your confession is on tape. No! Okay, that was a good scene. Cut to commercial. When we come back, the desperate criminal kills the detective and escapes. He goes underground and rebuilds the criminal empire. He reappears next season. Has your contract been renewed for next season? It will be when they see this episode. No, it won't. Katie coffee girl where's my coffee sorry to ruin your party wayne but i don't have any coffee what you incompetent intern no wonder they're not paying you anything but i did get the security guards prepare to be arrested wayne what but you can't do that the ca cameras aren't rolling give it up wayne we're missing all the dramatic footage we we fine if i'm going to jail i'm going to jail goodbye coffee girl and francie good luck with your acting career don't settle for anything less than a three-year contract. Uh, right. Wayne went along with the police without any fuss. He gave a full confession. Thanks to him, everyone else in the gang was arrested. Except for Lisa. The ringleader of the gang managed to escape. The police aren't sure what happened. Neither am I. I was worried Lisa would try to revenge on- Try to get revenge on me, but- I never heard from her again. That's mostly the end of the story, except for one minor incident. Two months later, I got a package in the mail. It was a new top-of-the-line cell phone. There was a message attached. Sorry I tried to kill you, Brett Marvin. I guess it was nice of him to apologize, but I thought it was a trick from Lisa. So I gave the fun phone to Kragers. <clears throat> he was really grateful to me. Now I get a 50% discount whenever I order cheeseburgers. Lisa's a spicy devil. Talk about a great reward. I think this is a good time to officially call this case closed. The end. Da, 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 da. 
All right. We're going to do a different game now in the Francie Drew collection. Loady, loady. Oh, okay, 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 okay. He, you're my first person to uh, redeem anything. So, Moocher, my compliment to you is that you were one of my very first subs ever. Uh, you were at my very, I, um, you are the biggest fan of my, um, my read streams, and I can't tell you how much, um, that means to me. Uh, you're always super, super encouraging, um, and it's really cool. Um, you're always, um, so enthusiastic, and I really just appreciate that about you. I thank you so much for, um, every time that you're here and every time that you give the input. You're a really cool dude. Um, and I am happy that, uh, DK stands for Denmark and not Donkey Kong. Hey, everybody. Actually, I mean, Donkey Kong's cool, too. But, Moocher's the best. He's one of my very original subscribers, and I appreciate him very much. Is it working? Aha! I wonder if I can make this smaller. Yeah. Oh boy. The heck? <laughs> there we go. Oh! Jake, okay. So Jake is, um, Jake is super great too. Uh, he plays uh, it's been great seeing him get back into Pokemon. Uh, he also does music streams and has a lot of talent. Um, uh, I appreciate um, his quips. He's very uh, witty, very clever, always really quick to uh, make a good joke, um, but still really, really sweet guy. Um, so he's pretty great too. I want a cheeseburger all the time. Be safe. I was going to sprint on glass, but now I won't. Double compliments. Okay. This one is trapped in a soap opera. I'm going to make this slightly smaller, because I feel like now it's kind of in the way. There we go. That looks better, right? I love this music. This is, like, my kind of music, I'm not gonna lie. I know this sounds super weird coming from a small girl born in the 90s, but I really like old-timey music like this. like when movies first started and they didn't have sound incorporated yet and so when movies played in a movie theater they would have an accompanist um and I think probably just the like the black and white tv screen here is what's reminding me of that but so it reminds me of like um like those old film days when people would go to the theater and there would be an, a live pianist there that would play music like a score that would go along with the film that was shown and so I just think that's really really neat <clears throat> okay here we go so here's a fun fact about this game trapped in a soap opera I played this game actually before its release I was part of the beta testing group um, and Paul Franzen who made this game he um, was looking for beta testers when they were getting ready to release this collection and I offered to beta test and he asked me to beta test uh, trapped in a soap opera so if there are any um, bugs or typos then that means I didn't do my job well and I will be embarrassed
I mean, I guess technically there probably was Jake, but that's not what I said. All right, be safe driving, Riddy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to eat the rest of my Dr. Pepper bites. There's no way our son is marrying that witch. Who's gonna stop them, you? Yes, if I have to, and you should be helping me. Look, I'm not happy about the wedding either, but I'm not gonna jeopardize my relationship with Daniel just because I don't like his fiance. But Christina is all wrong for him. She'll break his heart just like she did with Chuck and Patrick. I mean, that's what I, that is, I, it's what I'm trying to say. She's gonna screw up the wedding all by herself. There's no need for you to get involved in this situation. You can forget that. I'm gonna stop this wedding with or without your help. Cut! Phew, got it. You totally flubbed that, oh, her name's Serena. <laughs> you totally flubbed that last line, Jake. Give me a break. We've been recording for four hours straight. Please. Most of these were lovey-dovey scenes with Kathy. No big deal. I've had nothing but fight scenes for the past 40 minutes. It's been brutal. That Laura, always getting into fights. No one missed me. I'm so fast. Welcome back. Stop talking on the set. We're moving on to the next scene. He looks like Frosty. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Tara does love everybody because he's he's just sweet like that. What's my line? You're giving a big speech about not messing up the wedding? Right, right, let's do it. Hi, I'm Jake Thompson. I play Eric Jones on Romance and Auditors. <laughs> As you could probably guess, that's a soap opera. Um, I was told to introduce myself here, but to be honest, I don't know what to say. I'm not a very interesting person. I like rock music, I work out a lot, and my parents think I should quit the soap opera in order to get a real acting job. That's about it. Sorry to disappoint, but the main reason I got the soap opera gig is because I'm good looking. It's not because I'm the world's greatest actor or because I have a wonderful personality. Actually, I kind of have the wrong personality for soap operas. I tend to be snarky and sarcastic sometimes. So I like to make jokes about the stupid storylines and the bad dialogue. The other actors think it's funny, but the directors keep getting mad at me. Being on a soap opera isn't all bad, though. Most of the time I enjoy my job, but would I want to live my job full-time? No, never. Have I ever thought about being on a soap opera? <laughs> well, here's the thing about soap operas. Um, once you're on one, I feel like it's hard to get out of them. <laughs> so it's like, where I consider it? Sure. But also, it's like, do I want to accept the stigma that goes along with being a soap opera actor? Or use it as a springboard? I don't know. That's why I got so upset the day I found myself. It started when I got home from work. Traffic was a nightmare that day, and I still had to cook dinner for myself. I live alone, like a loser. It's funny, I can get millions of women all over the country to fall in love with Eric Jones, but I can't seem to get a date in real life. Like, I tried the online dating thing, but everybody thought my profile picture was a fake. I mean, it was a publicity photo, but still, everyone uses, else uses glammed up photos on those sites. That's not your character, just has to be shot or hit by a car. True. True. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting off topic here. Back to me getting trapped in the soap opera. I still have no idea how it happened. I was outside my house like normal, but when I went inside... Oh, Eric, I'm so glad you're home. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What are you doing here? What am I doing? I've been waiting for my boyfriend to come home so I could kiss him. Unless you have any objections, Mr. Auditor. Haha, ha, very funny, Kathy. Seriously, why are you in my house? 
Who's Kathy? You're Kathy. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm Emma Robertson, your girlfriend. Hmm. At first I figured that Kathy was pulling some kind of stupid prank on me. I mean, her performances can be forgettable sometimes, but not knowing her own name was pushing it. You're brought back when it's revealed your evil twin was actually put your character into coma. Would you watch the heck out of that? <laughs> But that's when I noticed my house was all wrong. It didn't look like my house at all. It looked like the set from the TV studio. Where am I? This isn't home. Are you okay, Eric? You seem confused. Give me a second. I need to check something. What the? The outside of my house was completely different. It had changed to match the set. V and her evil twin fighting for Thanos. Yes, okay. One big difference, though. The scenery went on as far as I could see. The wind is crazy. In real life, the set doesn't extend any further than a few feet. All you have to do is take some steps and you'll walk directly into the camera. I did that during a close-up once. The director got mad at me. But there wasn't any camera or any crew members. It was all real. I was in the fictional town of Riverpool. Pond. River Pond. I couldn't believe it. My doorway had become a portal to soap opera world. That's impossible. That sounds like a stupid idea they'd come up with, well, for my soap opera. It only took me a few seconds to accept this strange new situation. Ah! Ah! Get me out of here! Okay, I lied. It took a lot longer than that. Eventually, I calmed down because I knew I could deal with this problem, maybe. I've played Eric for years now. Pretending to be him for a little while shouldn't be all that difficult. There's just one problem with being Eric, you see... Oh, what's the problem for with Eric? Mike G Code. I saw some, oh lord. Hello Mike G Code. It's nice to meet you. I hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm going to start a poll here for these options. Let's do We're voting on plot. Oh, wait, how do I get rid of these? Oh, remove all. Okay. Alright, two minutes. You guys go ahead and vote what you want. For plot. music is intense so if you do um exclamation point vote zero you can vote for cheated exclamation point vote one is for murdered and exclamation vote exclamation point vote two is kidnapped oh hi evie it's good to see you while you guys vote i'm gonna go grab something to drink real quick i'll be right back It's the bot. The bot starts counting at one or at zero. Um, I think it's just the coding, um, so that when you set, send a vote in, it helps sort it correctly. Hi, Shannon. Yes, today is my two-year stream anniversary. I did my very first stream two years ago today, um, and I'm excited and thrilled for everything that it's brought me.
there's a tie. Oh no. All right. So I'm going to end up doing the tiebreaker and I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to go with cheated. <clears throat> That's I'm, I'm tie breaking it with Eric cheated on his girlfriend with her sister. Yeah, I think I, oh, me, what stream of yours did I meet you at? Or what stream of mine did I meet you at? I'm so sorry that I'm for, forgetting. Eric's main storyline right now is a good old-fashioned love triangle. Which girl is better for him, Emma or Mia? The two girls are sisters, so I think it's kind of gross that they like the same guy. If you ask me, they should both dump him and move on to someone else. Sometimes the romance on this show is like a poker game. Everyone gets shuffled around to create new pairs. That's true, Tara. The latest twist is that Mia broke up with her boyfriend, so now she's making a play for Eric, my character. The two of us kissed for the first time last night. Now Eric has to choose which girl he likes more and when he's going to tell the truth about what's going on. Well, you know what? I'm not going to put up with this. I've got more important things to do, like figuring out how to get back to the real world. I'll just tell Emma the truth and move on. It's like taking off a bandage. It's best to get it over and done with as soon as possible. Emma, I have something I have to tell you. Yes, I have read. I, I am currently reading through. I'm still reading through the Series of Unfortunate Events series. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've read uh, five of those currently on stream. I still have eight more to go. <laughs> So, um, cause there's 13 books in the series, but yes, great. I think I do kind of remember that now. Um, but it's good to have you back. What is it? Does it have something to do with the weird way you've been acting today? Yes. Remember how I came home late last night? Yes. My sister helped you. Mommy? Huh? Who's this kid? Very funny, Eric. I'm not joking. I've never seen that kid before in my life. Is he a new character? It's me, Billy. I gave birth to him last year, remember? He's my son with Chuck. Oh, right. I forgot. The producers decided to age Billy by 10 years. Babies are cute, but they don't make for good actors. Right, Billy. How are you? Not good. I'm having trouble with school. Molly tried to copy my answers on a math test today. I thought that was so sad. Oh no, that's awful. That's cheating. Cheating is awful. Don't you agree, Eric? You would never put up with a cheater, would you? The writers for the show are not always subtle. Cheating is awful, and that's what I've been trying to tell you about yesterday. What do you mean? Billy, could you get that? Sure, Mom. Now, what are you trying to say? You know how I, you know I was depressed after losing my job as the sign waiver at the pickle-shaped slippers company, which, for the record, was not a good career decision. Yeah, you were so upset that Mia offered to help you help bring you home. What's the big deal? That's not all she did. She took advantage of me. Would the story have changed if you chose murder as the option? Yeah, there's so there's three different stories in this trapped in a soap opera. Like I said, I've beta tested this, so I've done all of the branching paths. Um, but yeah, so the story the story's different depending on what you pick at that point. I'm not sure if I like having the same name as this dude. Not in front of the kid! I took advantage of you? Like, she stole $20 from your wallet? No. She used your credit card to buy stuff online? No. <laughs> Dare. That's funny. No. She bought four pairs of slippers and tried to charge it to your company account? No, I'm saying she kissed me. What? What? You kissed my sister? I was surprised as you were when she made her move. I knew I had to tell you as soon as possible because honesty is the best. I don't care about honesty. I care about making my sister suffer. How could she do this to me? I'm going to destroy her. In other words, Thanksgiving at your house is going to be really awkward this year. Again. Obviously, the scene wasn't dramatic enough, so that's when Mia showed up with a huge announcement. Erica, I have to talk to you. 
you. How dare you come into my house? I'm so sorry, Emma, but this can't wait. I have to talk to Eric alone over my dead body. This isn't a good time, Mia. Emma just learned that. It's an emergency, Eric. I'm pregnant. <laughs> this game ain't on Steam. Yes, it is. It's under, I'm playing it off of Steam. It is under the Francie Drew and Friends Collection. It's five mini games within the Francie Drew and Friends Collection. Um, oh, a rock studios is the, uh, um, the developer pregnant. You kissed my sister and got her pregnant. I, do you know how the human bio, how human biology works, Emma? No, of course you don't. Pregnancies on the show only last four months. I swear this is, uh, uh. huh? The two women weren't paying attention to me anymore. They were too busy screaming bloody murder at each other. Just as well, I suppose. It gave me an opportunity to leave. <clears throat> now to figure out how I got trapped in this nightmarish reality. Hey, why is mom fighting with Aunt Mia? Billy? That's me, but how long will it be before you stop using my childhood nicknames? I just turned 21. Call me Bill now. Hmm. What is it? Have you ever heard of Jake Thompson? That's you- no, no, never heard of him. I knew it. You know something about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, there's the five mini games within the one game. So, yeah. Still part of the same collection. Please, Michael Sarah. Huh? Something about this? Don't try to distract me with bad acting, Billy Time Traveler. Tell me the truth. You know I'm not Eric Jones. I'm Jake Thompson, soap opera star. You're right, Jake. I know who you are because I'm the one who brought you here. Tara does have a good voice. Dude, you're so right. Professional dancer. I wish. Fun fact. Um, I, if there was one thing that I wish that I could have natural talent in doing, it would be dancing. Like, in different like, um, disciplines, I guess is the, is the term. You brought me here, but how and why? I've never met your character before. I, I felt like I didn't have a choice. Do you know what it's like to live your whole life on a soap opera? I went through puberty in a matter of hours. It was awful. All I want to do is escape and live a normal life. So yes, I stole the wizard's book and cast a spell to put you into the TV show. I need someone to help me escape. Wizard's book? What are you talking about? It's a long story, but you can understand, right? You've been on soap operas almost as long as I have. You must know how people leave the show. Same, CJ. Like, if I could go back and do that, I would have started taking dance lessons um, at a young age. Um, even if it was just like, like stuff like ballroom or, or, or jazz or, or swing or something fun like that. You know, maybe not necessarily ballet, um, but I mean, I would have been fine with that too. Hmm, I do. We moved to Europe. Moved to Europe? That's what they do when they want to kick actors off the show in a hurry. It's a convenient excuse to explain why someone's no longer around. Oh, I get it. We're moving to Europe. You traitorous. You're what? We're moving to Europe, starting today. All right, we got new jobs there, so we can't stay here anymore. Oh no, that's awful. That's great. I never want to see you again, Eric. Ever. Now you won't have to. But what about my baby? Don't you want to pretend to be the child's father and help me raise it? We can make such a cute family together. Um, no. I've had enough paternity storylines to last me a lifetime. I just feel like I have no control over my limbs. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're up, let's go! Right, goodbye! Yeah, I mean, I, I would take a swing dancing class now, and there are some in Charleston. I just... With all my copious amounts of free time... <laughs> And cut. 
Good job, Jake. Sorry that you're leaving the show. It was great working with you for the last few years. Phew, it worked. What worked? It's a long story. That's it. I got trapped in my soap opera, but I managed to walk out the door and never come back. I got a job working for a different soap opera. Nothing weird like that ever happened to me again. I wonder what happened to that other actor, though. What happened to Billy? I left the house with him, but I never saw him after that. That would be fun. I would be down for that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm already eight months pregnant. It feels like I just got pregnant just two weeks ago. I guess it's time for me to come up with a name for this little guy. How about Billy? No! We should have, um, Indie Fam dance party at the Indie Fam, like, meetup. I overdo everything. You're gonna save tickets for a dare? A dare to take a swing class? Oh my gosh! I mean, it's a great idea, but wow. All right, do we want to do another, would you guys like to do another, um, honestly, if you want to, we could go through all three, uh, storylines, because this game is kind of short, if you'd like, and stream it? Uh-huh. I could try. I don't know if my phone would have enough battery to do that IRL stream. Just pictures? Okay, okay. I mean, I would do that. Um, okay, so let me know if you would if you would like to do one or both of the other um, plot lines in this game real quick. And I'll try to continue my 10 out of 10 voice acting. I'm not, I don't plan to do any Pokemon today. I will be returning to Pokemon on Tuesday. Yeah. I say do the other lines, do the other tied off. Well, the other two were, everything was tied. All three were tied. So. All right. And I, and the good thing about this, which I wish was in Cat President, and maybe one day we'll get a, um, Maybe one day we'll get a update to Cat President with this in it where you can skip the intro. So I'm going to skip all the way through the stuff we've seen before where she, where he realizes he's trapped in the soap opera and then we get to this. So <clears throat> I'm going to open another um, poll here with the two options we have left. Murdered or kidnapped. Two minutes, go. Okay, Reed, please do uh, get some good sleep. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Um, sleep well, and I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, I understand. voting and then we will we'll probably have time to do because technically I have the Francie Drew and Friends collection I have time allotted to go until about 6 with this it's only 430 and I know we still have another game in the collection we have um, who am I um, the uh, let's play adventure uh, so we still have that but this game is I think the shortest game in Either this or my Nigerian prints are probably the shortest ones within the collection, so I think we'll have time for both. She might, no, I don't think, it doesn't change Moocher, unfortunately.
that kick drum. I'm just waiting for the time to run out. <laughs> What's the winner? Obviously, murdered one. Eric murdered someone last night. <clears throat> Eric killed someone last night. Alberto Payne. Alberto's an evil mob boss, the main villain of the show. His specialty is killing characters whenever they're up for contract renegotiations. Over the years, Alberto has committed all sorts of outlandish crimes. Once he kidnapped his own daughter and replaced her with a double to get a larger tax refund. Actually, he's done the evil double scheme over five times at this point. The writers keep reusing that storyline for some reason. My character shot Alberto last night as part of, part of a mob war. The police are going to arrest me on Tuesday's episode, so I don't have a lot of time on my hands here. I'll have to move quickly and find a way out of the soap opera before then. Now, let's see. Where should I start looking? I'm not sure how I got here in the first place, so... Well, well, well. Look who it is. Eric the Slimy Scumbag. Great, it's this idiot. Say hello to Bruce, Alberto's son. He's very, very evil and very, very stupid. Hello, Bruce. How's it going? It's awful. Someone just killed our father and stole his private documents, and I think you are the culprit. Wow, way to go straight for the jugular there. Maybe you should... Go for the jugular. I don't know how to juggle. Father was going to teach me, but now he can't because you killed him. Oh, I don't have time for this conversation. I'm leaving. You can't leave. Not until I get my super nasty revenge. What? What? Did you make me a sandwich with the wrong type of peanut butter? Because you're not smart enough to... Hello, Jake. Oh, great. Not this storyline again. Let me guess, you're gonna kidnap me and replace me with this guy. Correct, say hello to the new Eric Jones. Why would you do this? It's ridiculous and stupid. Stupid, no, no, it's brilliant. He's going to pose as you and ruin your life. I'll start by destroying your relationship with Emma. That way, that way I can marry her. Then I'll rig the upcoming election so your cousin gets picked as the next commissioner of the IRS. That way I can marry her. That is a horrible way to pursue a romantic relationship. Maybe you should try getting her flowers instead. Make all the jokes you want, Eric. It doesn't matter. Your life as you know it is over. How did you manage to make this guy look exactly like me anyway? You're too stupid to do something like this on your own. Isn't it obvious? I use Father's Secret Lab. It has everything an evil scientist could want. X-ray goggles, mind-reading devices, a portal to other dimensions. A portal to another dimension? I can use that to get back to the real world. Well, that settles it. You better take me to the secret lab right away. Take you to the lab? Ha! No, we're going to kill you. But, but, you can't do that. You need me alive. There's all sorts of special information that only I know about, like the combination to my gym locker. Hmm. That makes sense to me. And me. Wow, I can't believe those idiots bought it. Send him to the dungeon. I've given Bruce kind of a feminine voice. The what? The dungeon. Of course they have a secret dungeon underneath their house. Don't all houses have dungeons? Maybe I can trick this guy into letting me escape. So, how much are you getting paid to impersonate me? Two million? Three million? That's none of your concern. I guess it isn't, but you know what is my concern? Getting to the secret lab as soon as possible. No way, I'm under strict orders not to let you out. What if I told you that this isn't reality? It's a TV show. What you see in here isn't real, it's all fake, imaginary. Our lives are scripted out ahead of time by a team of writers made up of three bitter divorcees and four frustrated English majors. That's why all the love stories are awful. Wow, you're crazy. No way am I letting you out. Darn it, he's not listening to reason. I'll have to try something else. Something like a stupid soap opera plot twist. Look, here's the truth. I'm not Eric Jones. I'm his twin brother, Rick. We captured the wrong brother? Yes, and I can prove it if you let me access the DNA test in the secret lab. Oh wow, what should I do? If you're lying, Bruce will kill me for letting you out. Just let me in and take the test. If I'm right, you tell your boss. If I'm wrong, no one has to know about it. Hmm. Okay, you get one chance. Only one, you hear me? Yes. Wow, this place is filled with random pseudoscience junk. How am I supposed to find a portal in this mess? Um, is there a file cabinet or maybe a computer I can look at? One that lists all the various evil plots that these people have pulled off? 
No, you said you were going to do a DNS DNA test. I will, but first I need to look up uh, where it is. You do the test now or I shoot. Look, this is my first time here. I don't know where... Hello, Eric. Alberto, you're alive, but I shot you yesterday. That wasn't me. That was my clone. But I couldn't let you get away with trying to kill me, so I used my interdimensional portal to get the ultimate revenge. Wait, you did this? You trapped me in the soap opera as part of a revenge scheme? Very good. It took Chad much longer to figure that out. Chad? Wait, you mean Chad Myers, the guy who left the show in fall? <laughs> he didn't leave the show. I pulled him into the show permanently. But why? Why would you trap me and Chad inside a soap opera? It makes no sense. Because, my dear little actor, if I can bring people into the soap opera, it means I can also bring people out. Hello, Rick. Soon I will suck all the actors into the soap opera. That way all of the characters can escape into the real world. <laughs> no! Yes, we'll take over your puny world and destroy it, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I... that's... Okay, that's awful, but it doesn't make it sense. In other words, exactly the kind of story you would expect from romance and auditors. What are you babbling about now? This makes perfect sense. No, there's an obvious problem. If I'm here, then where is my character? I don't understand what you... I'm right here. What? No, there's two of you. Oh, wow, my character's even better looking than I expected. I heard your confession just now, Alberto, and I can't let your evil scheme succeed. What do you say we go down to the police station? I'm sure they'll be interested in hearing about how you committed kidnapping, murder, and attempted bo body double switching. Bye, Ryan. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you for being here. Much love to you as well. Curse you, Eric Jones, and curse you, guy who is also Eric Jones. Alberto was arrested, but I'm sure he'll be out of jail soon. They never keep him in prison for long. He's too good of an actor to waste. I guess there's only one thing left for me to do now. So I press this button and I go back to my world? Yep, that's how the machine works. Once I get back, I'll make sure to destroy this machine immediately. It's too dangerous for us to allow it to exist. Agreed. So I guess this is goodbye? I guess so. I just... What? It's weird meeting the actor who plays me on TV. I mean, if you usually play me, who's playing me now? I have no idea. Nothing that happened today made any sense to me. Me neither. Well, goodbye, Eric. I'm glad I got to meet you, even if it was only for a little while. I look forward to playing your character for years to come. You'd better. I'm the best character on this show. Bye. <clears throat> nice guy. Not as handsome as I am, but still. Nice guy. One more. Last one. You could see me being a flapper with those moves. I have dressed up as that once. If anybody ever does, um, like, redeems for a costume, that'll be one of the ones that I'll wear one day. Bye, Shannon. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a great day and a great week coming up. I'll see you again soon. Hang on one second for me, guys. nothing left to vote on there's only one to go I know a little bit of how to do the Charleston okay we're gonna do the kidnapping one remember the scene we were filming earlier Laura and Eric were arguing about their son's upcoming wedding 
But Christina is all wrong for him. She'll break his heart just like she did with Chuck and Patrick. I mean, that's what I, this is, I, it's what I'm trying to say. She's going to screw up the wedding all by herself. There's no need for you to get involved in this situation. Eric was lying in that scene. He's not worried about the wedding because he kidnapped the bride. He had to kidnap her. Christina is all wrong for Daniel. Not really. The actress who plays Christina is actually a very nice woman in real life. I don't talk to her much, though. It's kind of awkward because she's ten years older than me and she's playing a teenager. That's the magic of soap operas. Getting trapped in a soap opera is not part of the magic, though. How can I get back to the real world? Eric, what a surprise to see you. Oh, hi, Betty. What have you done with my great-great-granddaughter, you monster? I haven't done anything with Christina. Don't lie, the Jones family has had it out for the Robertsons ever since I was a little girl. Which is a really long time, considering she's been on the show since before I was born. I sure hope I don't get stuck doing this show for the rest of my life. That'd be awful. I've got better things to do than stroke the flames on a decade-old family feud. Well, I've got more important things to do than talk to a nobody like you. The red studio light just went on. Maybe I can leave the set now. What do you mean? Do you know we're on a soap opera? You, I see. So it was you, darn. Okay, I don't mean to be rude, but I demand an explanation right now. I am not going to spend the rest of my life trapped in a soap opera. That's what I said 50 years ago, and look where I am now. F are you saying you've been trapped here for 50 years? Yes. Once you get trapped here, there's no escape. None. Believe me, I've tried. But what causes it? How did we get trapped inside a fictional TV show? I don't know if I knew. Do you think I'd still be here? I want to get back to the real world. I want to die. I don't want to die here like Norman. Norman? He played Jeremiah Hammer, my husband on the show. We both got stuck here in the show after our big wedding episode. When he died, a red studio light appeared over the set, just like the one that appeared over your character's house tonight. Hmm. So maybe the studio light comes on whenever someone enters or leaves the show? Or something? I don't understand why it would- Wait! Stop! The abnormals are coming! The ab- Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Life in Pain. Great to have you here. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, my name is V, uh, officially to the channel. I play a lot of different things. Um, I play a lot of indie games on Steam. Uh, I play a lot of Nintendo. Um, I play a lot of Nancy Drew Mysteries. I also do occasional book and music streams. So thank you so much for the follow, and I hope you're having a great day. Eric, did you hear the news? Christina has disappeared. Serena, good. We need your help getting... Serena? Who's Serena? Don't be an idiot, Eric. We all know the truth, right? Right. I guess this isn't my friend Serena. It's her character, Laura. Well, I'm sorry to hear that Christina has, um, mysteriously disappeared right before the wedding. Are you kidding? This is great news. Now that gold digger won't be able to get her claws into our son. My great-great-granddaughter is not a gold digger. She and Daniel make a beautiful couple together. I should know. Jeremiah and I were married for over 30 years. Please, he cheated on you at least five times. Like you're one to talk. Weren't you married to Francis when you got pregnant with Daniel? Francis is an idiot, and Laura is glad I ruined her relationship with him. Right, Laura? Um, Laura? Francis actually invited me to come to the wedding with him. We're getting back together. No, that's horrible. That's awful. That's... That's unsurprising. They break up and get back together almost every month. What kind of a funny story behind that? They filmed their big breakup scene two times, mostly because the director hated the first take. But the producers liked both versions of the breakup scene, and they forced us to use both of them on the show. So Laura and Francis had a big breakup, then they immediately got back together again so they could have the second breakup. It was ridiculous. Francis and I make a good couple, but Christina and Daniel do not. You lie. They will be a perfect couple. If she shows up for the wedding. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, Eric, what's that supposed to mean? I don't think this wedding is going to happen. I think Christina will get cold feet and run away. Hmm, you know something that you're not telling us. Hey, what's with the third degree? Can't the father of the group make a semi-threatening statement on the eve of the wedding without people becoming suspicious? I have to go see Francis. See you tomorrow, Eric. Betty. Goodbye. My character kidnapped the bride, by the way. I can tell, thanks. So how do we get out of this soap opera? We don't. The only way out is to die like Norman did. What if... What if we get written out of the show? 
That's not an option. Why not? We could do something so awful the producers would have to kick our characters off the show and we'd be free. And what would be so awful they couldn't have it on the show? They've got kidnapping and murder on a regular basis. Fair point. There's nothing off limits for this show. What if we escape? Like, we take a car and drive to a different town. The only w That only works for an hour at most. Then the show cuts you to the next scene. The next scene? What are you talking about? About. I don't believe it. The wedding is in two minutes and Christina's not here yet. Where can she be? I'll stall for time. You go look for her. She'd better show up or I'll kill her for breaking my son's heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but there appears to be a bit of a delay. Don't worry, I'm sure the wedding will proceed as scheduled. You see, I've seen a lot of marriages in my time, and I don't believe it. Buddy is right. There's no way to escape from this place. Is this my future? Trapped in a soap opera with a bunch of crazy people and a priest who wears the wrong colored vestments? That's right, Claude from Wardrobe. Mustard is not a litur liturgical color. I can't let this be my future. There has to be a way out of this. There must be something I can... The love of the bride and groom is... Wait! Huh? What is it? I have to say something. Your speech about love has inspired me, and I have to tell the truth now. The truth? What's going on? The truth is, I'm in love with Betty. What? I... No, I'm not putting up with this. I don't care if you're 60 years older than me. I know that you and I are destined to be together, Betty. Why don't we get married together? It'll be a beautiful... It'll be beautiful, wonderful, and if people can't accept our love, that's their problem. Sure, why not? I got nothing better to do. Kiss me, lover boy. Oh, Betty. The Red Studio Light. I knew it. I knew that would get our characters kicked off the show. For a crazy young kid, you're pretty smart. Let's leave before the producers change their minds. Right. Phew, looks like we made it back into the real world. That was some adventure, wasn't it, Betty? Um... Oh, right, your real name, it probably isn't Betty. Funny, I forgot to ask you who. Remember how I said I've been trapped in the soap opera for, si for 50 years? Yes, why? Let's say I've gone through the most effective age reversal process of all time. I, what the? This is going to be impossible to explain to my family. I'm Edith, by the way. Who are you? Jake Thompson. I took Edith home with me. For a cover story, we told everyone she was my new girlfriend from out of town. We researched what happened to her real-world counterpart, but there were no results. By all accounts, she didn't exist anywhere for the 50 years besides the soap opera. Now she owes 50 years of back taxes. We're still trying to get that sorted out. As for me, I don't have a job anymore now that my character has been written off the show. So things have been rough for me and Edith lately, but do we regret what happened? No. A few problems in the real world is nothing compared to being trapped in a soap opera forever. This story is wild. And we did it. We did all the trapped in a soap opera lines. Now we have one more game to play. Whoop. Um, we have... Who am I? The Let's Play Disaster. <laughs> How you guys holding up? Yeah, being trapped in a soap opera forever would be pretty rough. Pretty rough. I'm waiting on the game to open up. How we holding up, friends? Frandos? Welcome back, Riddy. Hey, everybody. Okay. So, I'm confused. What are these? Thank you for the clapping. But, so, can I look at these videos? Good, I'm glad you're still having a good time. 
I'm trying to figure out how this works here. I figured I should just start, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's get this started. No, this isn't so much a video game as it is an examination into how we build our online identities. Okay. In other words, it's some artsy thing which is about as subtle as a sledgehammer. <laughs> this is so meta. Ugh, another awful day at work. Another night with nothing waiting for me at home. Is that what the artwork in this game looks like? Seriously? That's so ugly. Ugh. Yeah, that's my reaction, too. How much did this stupid game cost again? Like, I can't believe it cost actual money. What a ripoff. I guess I'll write my nightly blog post before getting dinner. I guess I'll just be stupid and... <laughs> Who's doing that talking? Oh, right. I forgot to introduce myself. I am AwesomeSauce3914, and I'm doing a Let's Play of this stupid game. This game isn't stupid. Oh, trust me. It's stupid. This is so meta. Yeah, someone recommended this game to me. I think it was a joke, but hey, at least it's short. The lazy game designer couldn't be bothered to make a long game. If I made a game, it'd be like an MMO about dragons and explosions, 150 FPS minimum. Not some stupid game about a stupid guy on the computer. Who wants to play a computer game about a computer game? Stupid. This is hilarious. Can I just get back to the game now? Oh, yeah, uh, sorry for interrupting. Yeah, you just get back to what you were doing. Okay, then, um... Ahem. What should I write for my status? Wow, those are all terrible options. I mean, if I wanted to post online, I would post back. online, not play a game about it. Today was the best, today was the worst. Cute picture of a cat. Let's do cat picture. I post a cute picture of a cat. That'll distract everyone from my awful day. Cats are dumb. Doggos are better. Doggos are better, but... That's okay, Britt. Have a wonderful rest of the day. If I don't see you again, I hope you have a good week. I mean, I can't tell the truth. If everyone knows how bad my life is, they'll stop following me. Let's be honest. Nobody follows you online anyway. Or at least they'll stop following Argelfump. Wait, wait, so this is... Wait, okay, so this is a game about somebody let's playing Argelfump's life who is a let's player. Oh, thank you so much for those bits, Brit! So, this is so meta. So, the drawing is... Michael Gray, a.k.a. Argelfump, who is a Let's Player, and this is a game about somebody playing his life like a game and commenting, commentating on it. Oh boy. <laughs> is that his username? How stupid. I mean, I know Awesome Sauce 3914 isn't the greatest, but all the other awesome sauces were taken. I don't think any of these people know me in real life. Why? Why do I keep posting stuff for strangers on the internet? Fake stuff. Well, I post stuff online because it's funny or cool. You probably post stuff online because you're a loser. Is it because my real life is so bad only a fantasy life can make me feel better? Oh, hey, did anybody play that fantasy game which came out last spring? So awesome! Awesome sauce, 3914. <laughs> Ugh, these questions are too much for me. I'm gonna get dinner. Microwave dinner again. Wait, what's wrong with microwave dinners? Those are amazing. Oh, 
I'll put it in for two minutes and. Have you had the kind with the sauce? Awesome sauce! 3914. Please subscribe to my channel. You have received a message. What? That was freaky. Like, seriously, I'm scared now. Someone messaged me. Argo Fump, dude, what are you having for dinner tonight? No, like anybody cares about your dinner. I should answer this right away. I don't get messages very often. Seriously, normal people don't write messages like that. Fake. But obviously, whoever made this game isn't normal. Let's see. Tonight I'm having a microwave meal. I'm having a microwave meal by myself at home alone again. Wow. Truth bomb. I can't post that. Everyone will think I'm a loser. I'll write that I'm having steak and potatoes at a classy restaurant, and to make it seem real, I'll complain about the salad dressing. Oh, yeah, that'll fool them all. Salad dressing. It just started raining. This guy's an idiot. Why did they even bother making a game about him? Okay, now to post the... Message. Did I, did I break the game? My whole world went black at that moment. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay, whatever. Weird. Using the microwave and the computer at the same time, I don't know what happened. Well, these are beautiful graphics. Much better than that garbage we saw earlier. But when I woke up... I wish I was streaming right now. That mean I'm not playing this craptacular game. When does the gameplay start? Ugh, this is the gameplay. Um, anyway, when I woke up... Ow, my head. Oh, hey, something happened. Hi. Handsome man? <laughs> Seriously? That's his name? Ah! This is so goofy. That's not a very nice way to say hello. Who are you and what are you doing in my apartment? Tacos. He wants tacos. I'm you. What? No, that's not... Me? I'm Argofump, your online persona. Uh, uh, this is so meta! Persona came <laughs> alive. That's so this stupid. is the most meta game. So, this is a game, CJ, about... Argofump, a Let's Player's life being played by a Let's Player called Awesome Sauce 3914. It's very, very complicated. My online persona came to life? I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Why would you make a game about something so stupid? And it took us like five minutes just to get to this part. Talk about slow and stupid. You seem a little stressed out. Do you want me to help? Do you want me to get you some cat pictures? Well, that explains the dumb title, at least. I already talked about the title already, <clears throat> right? Did I? Oh my god, it is me. Yeah, whatever, I can talk about it again. It's called <laughs> Who Am me. I? And who is he? Is he the loser or the bigger loser? Of course, I came out of the computer when you sent that last message. But, but why? Why? I'm not sure. Some sort of electrical thing because the microwave finished at the exact same time you sent that message. That is so stupid. That's our explanation for his internet self coming to life. He used a microwave and a computer at the same time. I'm doing that now. Oh, shoot. Wait. Why are you on your computer anyway? Aren't you having dinner at a family fancy restaurant? No, I'm eating a microwave meal at home. That's not what you posted. I guess I lied. Why would you lie on the internet? I wanted to make myself seem more interesting than I actually am. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I had a microwave burrito uh, that I forgot. You know, I uh, almost forgot about lunch here because I was busy playing this dumb game. 
I know how to get around that problem. So, everybody asks me where 3914 comes from. That's actually my phone password. You know, the one that unlocks my phone. You do? I mean, not anymore. Oh, hey, I'm getting a message here. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me just, uh... Yes, if you want to see more interesting, be more interesting. Come on, let's go to a fancy di restaurant for dinner. I mean, I want people to watch this walkthrough. I mean, they won't want, they won't be interested in seeing this crap <laughs> game, but they'll be interested Sorry, in CJ. Play, right? Don't okay. fall in the shower. <clears throat> Can't afford it. I can. I make 300000 a year. I'll pay for it. Crap. Like and subscribe. Okay, yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe, everyone. Oh, right. I did say that once. I was trying to impress this girl, Cassandra. And I don't really read the comments to my videos. Most of them are stupid. Does this mean Argofump is made up of everything I've ever written ever? Like, this one guy was complaining he hated my voice. Yeah, well, that's too bad. This is my voice, dude. What am I gonna do? Get voice surgery? <laughs> Let's go. And if you don't like my microphone or camera resolution, buy me a new camera. Jeez. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Something's happening. Okay. I went to dinner with Argofump. He was my online persona. Smart, interesting, and never a dull moment. Okay, so what's going on here? I wasn't paying attention. This game isn't very interesting. I wish I could be more like him. Oh, I see. It looks like he's going on a date with himself. Cute. <laughs> it's so nice spending time with my creator. I bet they get married and post about it online. <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice talking to you, too, but I really should get back home soon. I have work tomorrow. Wait. What if this online guy posts online? Does that mean he gets his own online personality? I don't. What if that personality comes to life? It'd be like personality section. Would you like to go to work for me? I'm thinking way too much about this. I'm sure the author didn't put any thought into this piece of crap whatsoever. <laughs> uh, no, work is boring. Yeah, I agree. I hate work. No, I mean, we could trade off work. Like, you work one week, I work one week, and so on. That way we both work half-time and we get the same amount of money. Dude, good idea. That, that's pretty awesome. Where's my internet twin? I want to steal this idea. When people notice the difference, we don't look exactly the same. But we do, kind of. This is what I look like normally. Yeah, he normally looks awful. Your copy of my profile pic. That was taken two years ago when I was dressed up super fancy for the wedding. <laughs> Uh, tag photo versus profile pic. Hilarious. Okay. This game has at least one joke that's good. A wedding? You mean we're married? I hate the rest, though. Mostly just a bunch of dumb cat memes. No, I don't even have a girlfriend. Oh, shocker. The loser can't find a date. <laughs> I can fix that problem. So they are gonna start dating each other. I knew it. This guy's gonna fall in love with himself. Ha. See that woman at the bar? I'll get you a date with her. Or not. Whatever. No, wait. Hmm, how should I approach the situation? <laughs> she looks thrilled. Hello, woman I've never met before. Do you want to see a cute cat picture? <laughs> Get lost, creep. That was quick. What? Huh? Go away. Uh, leave. I. I. Oh, I love it. This guy's getting shot down. That's what you get for being an internet idiot. 
How did it go? Did you get me a date? And now we're back with Dumb and Dumber. She she unfollowed me. Oh, well that happens sometimes and Are you crazy? I have one less follower now. <laughs> this is actually kind of hilarious because I bet this guy had no followers to begin with. This is the worst day ever and it's all your fault. Like who would follow a guy who makes stupid games? I don't even follow people who make real games. <laughs> Why aren't you more interesting and handsome? <laughs> oh, I bet he gets asked that question a lot. Whoa, calm down, Argle Thump. Maybe we should go home for tonight. But I'll get fewer views now. This could be a disaster. What if I lose all my followers and disappear forever? Oh, good point. Does he stop existing when the internet goes down? That'd be bad. I'm sure that won't happen. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. This game is still dumb. Oh, we're going back to black screen again. Guess the game designer was too lazy to draw more crappy backgrounds. It looks like we made them in paint. Argo Fump went completely out of control after that. I know people online can be a little bit crazy sometimes, but this was extreme. Not that the art is that good anyway. Gosh, he's so stupid. He started fights with everyone and talked only in all caps. He smashed my possessions and spent money on stupid things. Eventually, it had to stop. Stop? Are we stopping this game? I'd love to see it end. Will you stop insulting my video game? I put a lot of work into it. <laughs> no, this game is dumb. I hate it. How would you like it if someone made fun of you all the time? No one makes fun of me. I'm awesome. Awesome Sauce 3914. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let's see how you like it when the tables are turned. What? What are you going to do? This game is crossing the line from bad to weird. Bad and weird. Perfect description, dude. What? Did I just hear? Yeah, you just heard me. I'm awesome sauce underscore 3915, and I'm Let's Playing This Guy's Life. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to teach me a lesson about being nice on the internet. I don't think anyone can teach you anything, dude. You're too dumb. Whatever, say what you want. I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. My brain hurts. Yeah, I got it. The only thing you're afraid of is being interesting. I'm not going along with this stupid game. My Let's Plays are great. Yeah, notice how he says the game is dumb all the time? He keeps playing it. Who's the dumb one now? You. No, you're dumb. No, you. Thank you, Tara, for being no. here. I really appreciate it. Thank stop you so much for dumb. your kind words. I'll stop when you And I hope stop, you have a wonderful rest of the night. Good. I'll talk to you soon. You called that cooking dinner. You got all the ingredients wrong. <laughs> like anyone cares about doing laundry. Get a life, dude. Sure, that show deserved all the attention it got. Like, I watched all the episodes, but it wasn't that good to be that popular. I mostly just watched it because everyone else watched it. With a hippopotamus. What? Is she gone? Is she gone for good? Sorry, I was readjusting my equipment. You ready? Because we're live streaming. Live streaming. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's going on. Is this seriously what we're doing? Following some guy's life. Can we do Minecraft instead? I like that better. Nah, we gotta stick with this guy. We need to break him. I am so confused. This is so meta. Well? Okay, you win. I give up. I'll be nice for the rest of the game. Good, let's wrap this up. Argofump, we need to talk. Okay. Good. The voices are gone. I'm sorry, I don't talk with idiots. Really? Cause you're a- oh, right. Nice things. I'm only saying nice things from now on. 
I'm not an idiot. Jeez, what can I say if I'm not allowed to make fun of the game? Oh, but you are. You're an idiot if you think you can get me to leave your life. I guess I could talk about something else. How do, how did you know I was going what I was going to say? Or pay attention to the game, I guess. Because I am you, only smarter and better looking. Right, so he's saying that he's hot. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to leave forever, you just need to tone it down a bit. And he's saying that he's not. You can't stop me, Michael, but I can stop you. There's only room for one of us in this house, and I'm not going to leave. That escalated quickly. Whoa, be careful. What are you doing with that gun? He's gonna shoot you, Michael. Run! Isn't it obvious I'm gonna kill you and take over your life? This is gonna happen. If you meet your doppelganger, you either fall in love with them or try to kill them. I'm pretty sure science proved that at one point. <laughs> you can't do that. I can and I will. I'm better than you and I should be in charge. He's, uh... This is bad. What should I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the end. I just need to make the right choice here and it's game over. Give me one last request. Give me one last request. What is it? Let me update my status before I die. There's this cute cat picture I want to upload. What? Oh, good idea. And of course he goes along with it. Are you done yet? For a game that talks about cat pictures a lot, we never actually see one. Just saying. Almost, and? Delete profile! Oh. What? No! Yeah. Good plan, why didn't I think of that? It worked, I got rid of him. Like seriously, you should have done that at the start. I got rid of myself. Yeah, pretty meta. <laughs> yeah, this game is meta. No, he's not gone. He'll live on inside me. Clearly, we've reached the moral of the story now. And I'll have a better life from now on. I won't post lies on the internet to make myself feel better. And I won't be a jerk on the internet making fun of bad video games. Kind of. I'll try at least. Thank you, Argo Fump. Thank you for everything. I mean, some games are so awful, you have to make fun of them, you know? Fiend. Oh, hey, it's the end. Well, I hope you liked it. Maybe it'll help you think more about your internet persona. Or not. Whatever. I don't care. Like and subscribe. So can I play these? Does it work? Oh, okay. It opened up the Steam store and it opened up the Steam store for these these games. Well, I don't well, okay, I don't know what this one is. I know the Awkward Steve is another game. What is this one? See what it opens up. If it opens up anything. Oh, it opened up Argo Fump's YouTube. Okay. And then this one does what? Oh, okay. And it's. another game life in the dorms okay well that's clever that's a clever way to like promote the stuff okay exit yes all right so we have completed the Francie Drew and friends collection we are ahead of schedule which is cool I'm waiting for this to close off. Oh, what is this? Oh, Moocher just sent me a gift on Steam. The Stanley Parable for the next meta game stream. Buckle up. The Stanley Parable. Oh, thank you so much, Moocher. 
I will add to my library. Thank you so much. I have so many things to stream. <clears throat> wow, that was so sweet. Okay. That being said. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my next break. Um, which will be, again, about 15-ish minutes. I'm just going to make myself a quick dinner. Um, I also need to set up my Elgato, so it's gonna, it might actually take me a couple more minutes than normal. Um, I have to set up my Elgato because I'm going to be coming back, and uh, when I get back from my break, I will be coming back with some Paper Mario, and I'm excited for that because it's been a hot minute since I've played Paper Mario. Hello, Salad! Um, sorry you caught me right when I was about to end stream. So I'm going to be ending this stream um, and then I will set up for the next stream and then once I've set up for the next stream I'll come back with some music while I eat and then once I'm done eating I will come back with some gameplay. Oh, I still appreciate it, Moocher, for sure. Okay, guys, so I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Um, again, about... Nor normally I'd say 10 to 15, but you might need to give me about 20 since I do have to set up my Elgato for this next portion. So, have a wonderful day, guys. It's okay, Salad. Hang around here if you'd like to keep hanging out. Um, if you're able to, it would be great. Uh, so I'll see you guys back in a bit, and uh, take care until I see you again.